Power 1017. Here's your jacked up stories. Um, Power, um, Power 101.7. All right. Well, survey found the best surprises include surprise parties, finding money, engagements, pregnancies, and snow, and snow days. The worst include your kid breaking things, your pet having an accident in the house, and finding out you owe money on your taxes. Okay. What's an annoying adult problem that no one prepared you for as a kid? Well, here's a few examples. Not getting summers off. You know, you grow up, become an adult, you get to work all year. And that's something. The fact that holidays aren't as much fun, I tend to disagree with that. And having to decide what to eat every day. Yeah, you have to decide. It's not just made for you. You're ready to go. Right now, people on Reddit are sharing things they used to do that teenagers today won't understand. Some of the best ones are recording songs from the radio on a tape recorder. I know that's right. Make it a mixtape from back in the day. Remember that? You used to record. You couldn't get a song until it came on the radio. Uh, calling a phone number to get the time. Can you still call time? I wonder, I wonder if you can still call time. The time is. Remember that? And stopping at a gas station to ask for directions. That was a whole nother. But I've done all that. Record off the radio. Called to get the time. And stopped at a gas station and asked for directions. And then went to the next block and stopped at another gas station because I didn't understand the the last person. The majority of people really struggle on the days when they just have to cook for themselves, according to a new survey. The most common struggles are finding the self-control not to just order takeout, finding healthy options for microwave meals, and getting motivated to try new things. A 10-year-old kid in Minnesota took his family's uh, minivan out while his parents were sleeping on Sunday. And when the cops stopped him, he said he was driving to buy some Cheerios. Fortunately, no one got hurt and no one's facing any charges. 10 year old driving the minivan out to the store. According to style experts, the fashion from the early 2000s apparently is now back. And that includes low rise jeans. One fashion journalist has the biggest sellers on the shopping app called Depop are all quote vintage Y2K Satin uh, busters, low-rise cargo pants, halter tops, and baby tees. Uh, The woman with the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest fingernails just had them cut off. Yeah, they were 24 feet, really. Seven inches long in total. And now one of the big things she's looking for is not having to be, or looking forward to, is not having to be careful in the bathroom. Oh, good. Oh, good. A guy robbed the bank in Germany on Tuesday, but none of the witnesses could describe him because they were all distracted by his uh, colorful 80s style tie. Yeah, so he's still out there and the police won't have any leads. A woman in Florida sold a car during a solo test drive on Monday, but she didn't realize that the car had OnStar, so the cops were able to track her down immediately and arrest her. I didn't even know. Does OnStar still exist? Like I thought that was like an old school thing. Maybe. I guess so. OnStar. That's the OnStar has been around for a minute. Uh, a home inspector in Michigan was caught on a nanny cam last month, getting it on with a stuffed Elmo doll. All right, he was charged with aggravated uh, indecent exposure and malicious destruction of property. Could working from home actually make you dr- uh, drive more? Well, researchers who have been studying people's driving patterns say it's possible because now instead of running errands as part of your commute. You'll take separate trips for each one of them. Maybe just like get out of the house or whatever. Uh, And here's a uh, couple good news stories making the rounds. A 13-year-old girl saved a kid from drowning at a hotel in Orlando. Very good. A 104-year-old in Columbia just beat COVID for a second time. And a guy in New York finally got the vaccine after up with thousands of other people get theirs. He created a site called TurboVax. It's helped a lot of people find appointments. So definitely very good. It is the Bill and Jessica show. Throwback Thursday. By request off the text. It's outcast. And we go back live in the mix. 939. Let's do this. This power. 1017. Good morning.